Hi everyone, Kim here. Um, I'm 36 years old and recently diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's disease. Prior to that, um, 2019, I have experienced some series of symptoms that is unexplainable. So my story was I found uh, I seek help when September 2019 I was swimming and I realized that my left leg did not kick or is not as strong as the right leg. From that time on I went to the GP asking for explanation about it. They sent me for an x-ray which suggests that nothing is wrong with my leg. And I, I was just okay with that. I remembered vividly uh november 2019 i had to go back to the philippines for a 10-day emergency leave and i was still okay then um there there's there's left leg weakness but not as much now 2020 i realized that from slight weakness it progressed to a more uh observable weakness to the point that even when i'm walking there's a slight limp on my gait now from that i was thinking the gp said it, it's everything is normal so i'll just change my work shoes change my sh trainers and that maybe that is what's happening i have an uncomfortable shoes or something but then i have maybe changed six six in total different brand of shoes but nothing seemed to work and from slight weakness slight limp on my gait uh, it progressed to a very observable uh bad gait whilst walking to the point that i have to like I have to exaggerate doing this in order to just have a uh, step uh, steps step right and left steps whilst walking and then so uh, from GP I went to spines went to neurology went to sports medicine physiotherapy chiropractic hypnotherapist, um, orthopedic, back to spine, and neurology. Uh, it was a very long journey towards the diagnosis and it was difficult for me. To be honest, not knowing what's happening with my body is more excruciating and more stressful than actually getting an answer and eventually getting a medication that helped me so pass pa pass fast forward 2023 early months of 2023 i have been seen by a neurologist consultant which sent who sent me for a dat scan the dat scan was really helpful uh prior to dat scans i have i had um nerve conduction study i had mri but nothing suggested and explained the symptoms that i was experiencing and with the that scan maybe a week or t no not even two weeks maybe less than a week i was called by my consultant neurologist telling me about the result and she suggested to have a levodopa trial with the levodopa trial three days after taking it i am taking madupar 187.5 milligrams nowadays 7 12 and 5 pm but before that it was 62.5 milligrams so a lesser dose of tablet so 62.5 milligrams dose if i'm not mistaken also for three days and after the third day of taking the madupar which is levodopa plus benzeracide a combination of two um which the madupar itself is k 
consists of levodopa plus benzeracide. Um, I, I, I noticed that because it really went bad, especially the early months of 2023, to the point that it takes me a long time from sitting position to standing position. It takes me a long time to do that and from standing position to sitting position, which I now know that is brady bradykinesia or dyskinesia or akinesia, which means to say slowness of movement or difficulty of movement. Then, um, so th three days of taking 62.5 milligrams three times a day of of Madipar, which was a levodopa trial for me, I have uh, my husband noticed that my from sitting to standing standing to sitting it was not as difficult as before and my my swinging of arms uh, came back on the third day so that was the levodopa trial and then uh, why am I, I why am I telling you my story or my journey is because now I have seen a lot of videos that um, there are people who are still searching for diagnosis for answers and I can sympathize I can empathize a lot to you because not knowing what's happening to you really get, makes uh, made me uh, anxious like I thought at one point that my brain it, or my mind is just playing tricks on me because from one consultation to another instead of having an answer it's almost like more questions like I would when somebody would say to me uh, you've got this scan and this doesn't explain your symptoms it played trick on my mind thinking that am um, i just making it up that's why i said that i went to chiropractic thinking maybe it would help and eventually i went to hypnotherapies hypnotherapist because i was thinking maybe i'm just making this up in my brain but don't lose hope if you are in the same situation as i was before don't lose hope because before I was just like maybe there's no explanation to what's happening to me and maybe this is it there's just things that are unexplained but then don't lose hope uh, try to be an advocate for yourself for yourself that was what I didn't do I was an advocate for myself but 2022 to 2023 I was just like thinking you know what I would just give up and um, I would just give up trying to search for answer and just accept what's happening to me and everything but then when I did that people stood up for me and my husband and a lot of my friends and colleagues stood up for me when i eventually gave up trying to search for answer answers they were the one who um who helped me get answers so if you are on that in that situation as of this time please don't give up and at that time i was thinking there's no light at the end of the tunnel because i was thinking it wasn't a tunnel anymore it was like a well the further it goes the darker it seemed and it was a horrible situation but i tell you um there would always be a light at this at this situation because of the medication now I was able to go back to the work that I really love doing. I am able to do what I love doing, like independently do things. Although I have Parkinson's disease, but I have 9 to 12 hours of normality. Though I still have tremors, rigidity, akinesia, postural imbalance, and even difficulty of re regulating my body temperature when there's extreme heat and extreme cold um i can still say that i am living my life as much as i can it this wasn't possible before 
the diagnosis and before the medication but just hold on tight and i hope you'll get answers soon